So I'm struggling a bit on doing videos, partly because I don't have a separate microphone. All I've got is the internal mic, or I've got the option of sticking my phone upside down in my pocket. And that's frankly annoying. Apart from anything else, I have to wear headphones at the same time. I'm not used to that. That's a bit horrible. So I'm not really getting on with that too well. And it's all a bit rubbish. So I've gone a bit mad and I've done my roadmap to success. Uh, what it, okay, what it was going to be is first of all, show you these things. A nice little uh, presentation of, you know, what it is. I mean, I don't have to go through it now. It's there for you. There you go. You can just uh, take a note. That's the first one. That's the second one. Isolate your skills, you see. Isolate your skills. Forget about everything else. Isolate your skills and then come back to points. Uh, and some final thoughts as well. Use slow time. Just use slow time. You've got to use slow time. Main game, teach heaven. Use slow time. It makes it better. You go deeper, it gets more intense. Possibly seems counterintuitive, but it really does. For those of you who don't write slow time, give it a go. So yeah, that's my uh, roadmap to success, which I've gone ridiculously dramatic, over dramatic and silly. Uh, but you know, spend a little time learning Da Vinci Resolve, so, so be it. I did also want to point out, you can now just drop images like these into your folder on the Oculus, directly just plugging it into the computer and get these little cheat sheets. So for example, if you want to know about combo multiplier, obviously most of the time you're not really going to want to know that, but you know, as an example, you could stick one of these. Have you got a spreadsheet? Is that why you're failing at Siege of Heaven? Is it that you haven't got a spreadsheet? No, it's not, is it? It's the reason you're not excelling. Right, so uh, let's have a quick look at this. This goes up super quick. So it doubles on the first one, not far off that on the next. And as you can see, each increment is a bit smaller until around about, where is it? So it's here. So from nine onwards, it's just point 0.2 every time so each five enemies above nine adds another one times to your score whereas those first few are massive so if you drop your combo and you've got a big shot coming up get, get a cataclysm out find a crowd kill them off quick and then take your big shot and you'll still get quite a lot of what you would have got uh anything else in there oh right yes the other thing that's in there is Pictures of Desolate Town. I keep thinking it's Desolation Town, but it's not. It's Desolate Town. I have to remember that. So I've taken a few pictures. So I've not played this for a little while. I, I got 2.7 this season after figuring it a little bit. But I really haven't figured this out properly at all. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a little ramble with you. So this one double gap should we go in let's let's go in and have a look at it rather than from here so let's have a quick look at where we're at so cupid's 48 combo 425 and headshots 214 hell growl hell growl definitely definitely tries to get up the headshots leaderboard and that's exactly what i did a while back near the start. Now, what I do wonder is when those headshots are going to combine with combo. Because that's what you're missing, mate. You need to bring up combo. Well, I'm kind of presuming that. I've only just looked on this map. But, uh, so top of Cupid's as well. So, for a bit, for a little bit, Try and forget about your headshots, not forget about them completely. Um, obviously, most a lot of enemies will require a headshot, and you know, Cupid's help you to increase your combo. But you've concentrated on headshots, 
Now concentrate on combo. Let's have a look at this. This is exactly what I'm saying. So isolate headshots, forget about everything else, get up that headshots leaderboard, just like Hellgrow has. Then get up the combo leaderboard. Once you've done that, bring in points. Make sure you know all the tricks of each of the maps and uh, you can rock it up the points. Uh, so yeah, Hellgrow, you've clearly got skill. Bring it together with another skill. Up the board well. So, Tempest, always a Tempest. I think on this one, you can only get up to about that corner before you disappear. Yeah. So, I'll take that as my edge. Don't really need to go over very far. Just try and straighten it up to my carpet. Okay, so that's to the edge of there. Yeah. All over there. Not got a uh, guardian on. I never do for this because it's far better to know your space. Far better. So let's have a look at these um, photos. So this one here. So that's right through there. That is a double gap. There's going to be predictable enemies there. I need to figure out when they happen. So it's a long shot double gap, so let's see how much that would be. So, long shot double gap, that's 20 times. So there's never a holy light there, but there is always a 20 times there, always. Now, there might be opportunities for Hand of God up there. I hadn't really considered that before. May well be. Uh... What else have we got? Okay, this is the big one. So that is a, what is that? So walk into stuff, I'm sure. Long shot, gap shot. Okay. But that has a holy light there. So there's, I don't think there's very much traffic. Or... No, there was some kind of problem with that. Maybe they just kind of... Uh, hmm. I can't really remember. But the big one is triggering cupids to go and fly over that holy light. And if you... I think I had to kind of kneel down a bit. Uh, or certainly come down a bit. With a tempest, graze the top of the... Um, the gap and just clip the bottom of the cupid at the same time so i need to figure out where cupids will come from as in where to trigger them from so long shot gap shot it's have a look so a long gap is five times. Uh, of course, because the base is a hundred. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, a long gap over holy light is going to be twenty times. So once the holy light was there, that's going to be twenty times. So that that is actually the same. So that on its own is the same as that with the holy light okay down the bottom there through that gap long shot gap shot five times so you know essentially it's like having a holy light there just all the time basically slightly more uh, what's going on with that one i'm not sure if there's any traffic behind that gap or not something to look out for Having holy light as well. So one, two, three around the statue. Is there one at the top there? I just imagined one. I might have imagined one. So those four. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's... Right. Long shot, 
double gap shot through there, which is a definite tempest. Long double gap, that's 20 times again. So we've got 20 times there, got 20 times there, and got 20 times there. The other thing I've got is a blank one of these. So I've got one of these for each map, and I've never made one before. Oh look, Desolation Town, see? I think it's called Desolation Town, and it's not. Oh well. Blank template. I need to figure out how many screamers on each. Uh, what waves the golden bats are on. Now there are five on Siege Royale, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, because it's four, eight, ten, eleven, and fourteen. So there might be five golden bats as well. Uh, so figure out the bingo shots. That's what I'm doing right here. The 20 times, 20 times, 20 times. Um, and I've got to see if there's anything else I haven't spotted. Uh, hmm. No, not really. I was wondering then if I could possibly skim that g the top of that gap, but it's a bit low, really. I've been. Well, that's interesting. So actually, I've been thinking as for the position on this map as not not being too difficult at all, because I don't need to go very far left to right. Actually. I could probably do with going quite a long way back. If I could get all the way back there, that would mean I could uh, graze the edge of the, that double gap and have a whole lot more space to hit them in. A whole lot more space. Right, that's interesting. I might end up switching around how I do things then. Hmm, I'll have to have a think about that one. Like most people playing with limited space, it's uh, it's all right, but it's not as big as I'd like it to be. Right, okay. So what else we've got to figure out? We've got to figure out the golden bat paths. I can only really remember one, kind of starting somewhere around there and drifting this way and out over there. I think. Okay. So figure out the golden bat paths, which waves are on, which wave the screamers are on, and what their paths are as well. There's definitely one up there. Oh, I hope there's not another blooming Siege Royale type wave five. Well, it's not really going to be, is it? The no, because the balance of the map is completely different. Um. <laughs> Cupid trigger points for that bingo shot. So trying to get it, get them to fly over the top of there when they've got the holy light. Uh, Cupid trigger for headshots. Now this is awkward. There might be something a bit longer distance. There's, there's certainly triggering them from these steps and they fly up there. But that's, you know, that's not an easy shot at all. It's not a good position for farming, really. Uh, is there anywhere on the map where the cupids come this way? Are there any kind of longer shots? Worth looking at. I've got a feeling not, but it's worth looking at. Traffic for the double gap on the right, so I'm, I've been thinking about that one. So what traffic, but there's also traffic there and traffic there when it's available. And how many holy light, and we know so far, four. Right, so yeah. So this is my process. This is what I do. I try and figure out the map as well as possible. Try and understand what's going to happen in each wave. When I've got that, get myself a spreadsheet, figure it out, and then hit every hell I can see. 
Now, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about doing this one as a um, as a ramble because this is not an easy map. I know there's there's a lot more in here, but it's not easy, and I I wouldn't be expecting to score high on this, especially as I'm figuring stuff out. You know, excuses are always good to get in early, eh? Oh, look at that! Look at that! I can't even hit the bell. Wow! Can't even hit the bell. Now, wave five. Is it wave five? Wave one is usually on our maps uh, somewhere between three and five combinations, and that's that. so. This one's five on this one. So it might be five every time. It might be. There. Thing is, I would be looking for to make arrows from this. These stairs are so awkward. So from the gate, that is a fly path for those heads. Really. I've got a, I've got an infrared. That should be doing the job. Calculus and whatever. See, this is the other problem. So that double gap shot. You know, there's stuff in the way. You need a tempest. Same there. You need a tempest. And that's like long, man. Getting arrows. I need to figure out a way of getting arrows. Right, wave two, and we've got someone up there. Okay. So I, if we're going for body shots, I suppose there's a bit of there's a bit of room there. Might have to uh, take a punt on a few. Okay, so right by the gate. Flying through the buildings. Now that that could possibly be done. So just to be clear, the idea is the tempest grazing the top of it with the start hitting the um, thingy bob, the cupid. That's the one I was looking for. I'm not going to buy incursions at the beginning because this is a low scoring map. Brilliant that I get a cataclysm for my only three arrow so far. Brilliant. Really happy about that. Couple more abominations up there. So the knight's going through there. Damn it, missed him, couldn't test it. That's not an easy shot. So we're four, so we should get a golden bat. So wave five, that's the first screen roll. Wave five, first screen roll. Go away. Is that the way he was 
to go, wouldn't it? Go in the way. God. This is, you know, this is really reminding me how difficult this uh, map is. That is not a gap. I'm pretty damn sure that is not a gap, despite its obvious appearance as a gap. Okay, exploding head. Oh no, it doesn't, doesn't fall to death. Didn't really check out the screamer, did I? It's from the back somewhere. So it's like if it's too close to the gate, it skims up. I need to figure the difference between it going up that way for a point shot and across this way for a headshot. And that's not even gone over the holy light, that one. Right, so hang on. I think maybe I need to trigger them Starting from further up, so it doesn't get the height, of course. Obviously, well, let's not worry about the incursions just yet. It'd be nice to get a few points to pay for them. Skeleton again. You know what could I actually do about them? Really, it's all skeletons. <laughs> Heap of the scoring on this is going to be from figuring out how to get arrows from keeper heads. Okay, so right, shop wise, do I need to just not bother with incursions for a while? I wonder how much I got perfect before. Right, so wave eight, we should be getting a golden bat, I would have thought. The orphans are usually on wave four and wave eight. Usually or always? I think maybe always. Where's that screamer? So golden bat from over there. So, no. There he is. So I reckon sometimes that screamer is going to come down there on the double gap. Probably. <laughs> dear oh dear, I should have had a warm up really, shouldn't I? I should have had a warm up. Okay, 
Okay, so wave nine. What's going to happen in wave nine? <laughs> Screamer again. Right at the beginning. We think that is not a gap. And down. That's a bit useless, really, isn't it? Useless big. like a good view come in there. thing flew out the window. Wave 10, what's going on with wave 10? Just about gonna say I need to figure out the wobbling heads on that line. But I've got to hit them. Can't get away without hitting them. There's just too much traffic. So that was that was boosted because of the cupid. Right, hang on. What we got? Damn shit, that's more like it. More tempest, always more tempest. Just buy more tempest. Not if they're there. Okay, wave eleven. Right, here's the screamer again from the non-gap. So, are we saying if he comes from that one, he's going to go either way or down there and down the stairs? If he comes from, does it come from that one? Skeletons running across there, wave 11. Sniper, holy ground, no gap shot. Did I imagine it? Did I imagine that shot? Damn, this map is hard, man. This map is hard. Okay, wave 12. <laughs> right, so I think the screamer came from the... Oh, 
can I eat? Or is he's gonna damage that dude, right? Yeah. That's really harsh. three of them. Okay, but with... So you could hit Cupid, not Cupid, a, a winning abomination at the same time as killing those knights for a much bigger score. I'm not managing to figure out these Cupids. Have I seriously imagined that shot? Is it just that it's... So what would a long holy light be? Is long 2.5? Long is 2.5, isn't it? Because sniper is, is 5. So long 2.5 times it up by the holy light is 10. So how... I can't have imagined doing that shot completely. I can't have just completely made it up. I did get to the top of the board. So wave 13, screamer. Um, no mates. No mates. That's for fun, eh? No 40 grand, and that's it. That's low, that one. That one could have done it. So that's kind of basically the edge of the holy light, right? <laughs> Fourteen, eh? The thing is, with the with the steps and the movement that the that gives the heads, plus the incursions, there's really not a lot of space to hit them. Need to get better at hitting them whilst they're moving up the stairs. Fourteen golden bow. Sniper holy ground. Whoops. <laughs> Always look at what's on offer before you spend your must. Oh, it's the last women wave. Of course, I've got enough to spend. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Silly boy. So, wave 15. What have we got? Two tempests have grown up. Uh, silly boy. <laughs> oh, it's all the way in this Difficult to keep an eye on them as well.
Oh, that was a. Oh, did you see that change of pace there? Oh, look, we've got a few. A few up for the double gap there. We're 15. Two hundred twenty head shots. Two head shots right now. Okay. So now my job is to go and have a look at that, make some notes, and update my spreadsheets. <laughs>